This giant beast is the Panasonic 3DO video game console, which was released to the US market in 1993 and retailed for about $700, putting it well out of the reach of most potential consumers back in the day when you could buy a Sega Genesis or Super Nintendo for far less. But the Panasonic 3DO plays optical media and had a library full of early 90s full motion video style games. Just look at some of the titles that you can play on this thing. Nova Storm, The Need for Speed, Super Wing Commander, the amazing 3DO version of Road Rash, the iconic Mist, and of course, Syndicate. The packaging for many of the old school 3DO games looks like this, and you can open it up and check it out. There's the game disc for Shockwave. Let's take that out of there. Same size as a standard CD or DVD. This is your eject button. And there's a lot of games that were released for this. The problem with collecting for the 3DO today is that it's hard to find a working 3DO game console. Sadly, even though the price of Panasonic 3DO game consoles is a fraction of what it used to be, they're prone to failure. And if you're buying a used one, make sure whoever you're buying it from gives you a warranty, or at least can promise up and down that the thing works. This is the original Panasonic 3DO, the model FZ1, which has one controller port, it has S-Video output, and it feels like a really nice piece of home theater equipment. It's, it's big and hefty, and later they released the Panasonic 3DO model FZ10, which has a cheaper CD-style tray, and a controller that no longer has the headphone jack. So they obviously cut costs in response to this thing not selling well because it was so unbelievably expensive. Although the model FZ10 will also give you the S-Video output. Here's what the back of the 3DO looks like. As one who played video games in the early 90s, I like the style of many of the games available on the Panasonic 3DO. It's a very unique style that seemed to go away quickly after, after the early 90s. Many of the games available on the 3DO are also available for other game consoles, like Rebel Assault, which I reviewed for the Sega CD. But the 3DO version is a lot better. What really set the 3DO apart from the Genesis and the Super Nintendo was its collection of 3D style games and live motion video. Many of these games are enhanced with really awesome cutscenes that feature live actors, not just CGI graphics. Games like Myst and Road Rash are great on this thing, but you can also get a lot of the titles available for the 3DO on other game consoles, like the first Sony PlayStation and the Sega Saturn. So is it worth buying a 3DO and starting a game collection? Well, maybe. That depends on your dedication level. It's like the Atari 5200 or the Intellivision. It's an impractical game console. If something goes wrong, you've just got to buy another one. And that can get expensive. If you can find a Panasonic 3DO for a reasonable price with a massive collection of games like I did, then it's worth buying. But I should note, the Panasonic 3DO I bought with all of the games doesn't work. This 3DO was sent to the show by our good friend Mohammed in Qatar, and this one does work. It took three tries to find one that worked. It is far easier to collect for the Sega Saturn, Sega CD, or PlayStation than the 3DO, but in many cases you'll find unique games on the 3DO that you won't find elsewhere, or far superior versions of similar games on the 3DO. It was a premium game system, like the Neo Geo, and like the Neo Geo, you were going to pay for it. Even though the Panasonic 3DO only has one controller port, you could daisy chain controllers together, which is kind of an odd feature. And that's the Panasonic 3DO, premium game console with an awesome library of games. You really can't go wrong with a lot of these. So once again, a giant thank you to our friend Mohammed in Qatar, I think it's time to play 
some Space Ace on the Panasonic 3DO. It would help if I had this hooked up to a TV right now. I'm gonna turn this off, stop recording, move it to the TV and then play some Space Ace. Oh, this game is awesome. And it looks like it came from Babbage's. <laughs>